Today I am going to take a look at a loudspeaker. Yesterday I tried to hook up my test loudspeakers and I noticed one of them didn't work. So I thought, okay, the receiver I'm working on, it must have a bad channel. So what I decided to do then, I simply swapped speaker wires. I took the right loudspeaker and hooked up to the left side of the receiver, to the left speaker terminals and with the other speaker the other way around and I noticed okay it's still the speaker up uh, so what I'm gonna have to do now I don't know why it failed whether I was working on something one day and I was working on a bad amplifier or receiver and it had DC voltage at the speaker terminals and burned the voice coil open I, I don't I have no idea since I'm normally I'm pretty careful to check all amplifiers or receivers uh, at the speaker terminals for DC voltage but in, in this case I don't I don't know now so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up this is a, a two-way speaker system it only has like a little um, I don't even know if I'd call it a woofer normally this would probably be the size of a mid-range on a loud, larger speaker set and of course it has a little tweeter so it looks like this kind of opens up from the back here easy to come apart but also if I hook up an old school kind of like a a VOM meter to the um, speaker wires I should be able to hear something or see some kind of movement here let me go ahead and try that so I have a old um, FET VOM. I've got it in the ohms position and what I'm going to do now these are the speaker wires I'm simply going to go ahead and hook the ohm meter across and we should be able to hear something or see some kind of a cone movement the battery voltage is going to be making the cone move in fact I have to add it actually the loudspeaker was working but I could barely hear it because I think only the tweeter is working. Of course, you could have, uh, if a loudspeaker doesn't work anymore, of course, it could be the cables. It could be a bad connection. Um, you could have a crossover capacitor bad. Or um, you could have, of course, open voice coil. You could have that too, which like would be um, not good here. I would have to get another pair of. Uh, speakers because it's going to be hard to match the original pair and nowadays you can get small speakers like really cheap so let me go ahead and hook things up and again we're gonna listen and hear in fact we could see the meter moving and you could hear something there and I can see the uh, woofer so-called woofer moving let me get a close-up here so here's the close-up now and I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the ohmmeter again uh, it's kind of hard to kind of hard to see something moving let me go ahead and try something else okay I just put some salt on the cone there some table salt and we should be able to see the little specks of salt they should be jumping off now try that again still hard to see but they have disappeared that means the cone they have fallen down into this little groove here so that proves that cone is working but let me go ahead and get the uh, bad loudspeaker this is, of course this is the working one okay I got the bad loudspeaker now uh, wouldn't made any sense to take apart the good loudspeaker if I wanted to take a look at the bad loudspeaker. Troubleshoot the back bad loudspeaker. It didn't make no sense at all. I must have got them mixed up because of course they both look the same and they're not labeled or anything. So I sprinkled a little salt on here just by way of demonstration to show the that the uh, the woofer actually can move. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and attach the ohmmeter again. 
And, well, actually nothing should happen because it wasn't yesterday, unless it's a bad connection. So, um, zero. See, I've got the um, connections made here, and I'm getting nothing. So, I will have to open this thing up, and hopefully it's just a bad wire. So, I've got the... Uh, Enclosure open. It just opened up with four or rather six screws in the back. That was easy enough. And also I just checked the wa speaker wires coming up to the woofer. They are good. I just checked them with the ohmmeter. And now I'm going to go ahead and put the ohmmeter across the speaker terminals. And I should be able to hear something or see some kind of movement. But I get nothing. In fact, we can see this on the... Uh, Ohm meter here. Nothing at all. So, um, I would say that this, um, here, this driver here, this voice coil here, this is, uh, open, I would say. And I think I'm going to go ahead and have to get rid of this pair. Loudspeakers, here's that, here's a, capacitor there that's why when I'm measured something right now you didn't we didn't really hear anything so I've got my other ohmmeter I don't think it's a bad um, connection right here in fact I can see the speaker wire down here going toward the uh, toward the voice coil in fact I can put the ohmmeter on here too and you can see the wire down there and right here and I am getting continuity from here to there which is as it should be um, so the problem is in inside there I'm, I'm thinking the voice call is uh, open I mean if I do have another speaker laying around which is about the same size um, and it's also 4 ohms. I'm going to just go ahead, even though it's not right, so to speak. But this is just a test loudspeaker anyways. I just hooked it, always hook stuff up real quick. I don't really use this as listening loudspeakers. And if they get damaged or anything else, it's, well, okay. It's not really a big concern for me. So if not, I'm going to go ahead and just um, get another pair of small loudspeakers to use as test loudspeakers yeah I should have gotten should have gotten something earlier some kind of sound or some kind of movement down here I didn't see nothing at all so it died a quiet death so to speak without a struggle I guess um, maybe I did one day maybe I did hook up a amp or receiver that was putting out DC voltage at the speaker terminals and I just ended up um, basically burning it out I don't, I don't know you know so one thing I didn't do was check the other terminal connection here and wire but I just did that now and that's not the problem either using the old meter so the problem is down in there so I ended up taking a closer look at the loudspeaker and because I, I wanted to find out what was wrong with it and here's actually a wire that's uh, open from the coil here um, see the coil that's just a bunch of copper wire that's wound around this thing here this thing is called a bobbin and uh, that's it now of course I still don't know why this happened I don't smell anything um, there's nothing really burnt. Um, I'm so I'm not. I have to say I'm not really um, not really sure. But at any rate, so I'm kind of like uh, didn't really make any sense to do this. I should have just uh, thrown this speaker out right away. But um, sometimes I just have to get to the bottom of things. So thanks for watching.